Okay, now we're going to adjust the height on the handset lifter itself. We always want to start with the lowest position. As you remember when I showed you up close the, uh, the lifter itself, there's a little toggle switch on the back. You want it pushed all the way down to start with. Because when you lift the handset, you only want it to go high enough to physically pick the handset up off hook, seizing the line, and clearly hanging up soundly. If you raise it, in the case of the AllWorks, we'll put it to the middle position, and you can see we're raising the handset way too far. It becomes loose, becomes wobbly, and it even has a hard time uh, returning it down to the position. So we're going to leave this in the lowest position, always the lowest possible position. Now we also talked about a couple other pieces when we first opened up the package. One of these dev devices was if your phone is very wide. If this does not clear the inside of your headset, take this device, slide it over the two prongs, and this will give you a wider operation. You can actually move this out as wide or narrow and fit it to uh, the phone of choice. I doubt you're going to need this particular piece very often. The other device that we talked about that comes in that package is an additional microphone. As you can see, the speaker in the AllWorks phone, like in most modern business telephones, is located directly under the handset. And the reason why they put their microphone here is because they want to listen to the ringing sound, which is generated through the handset, through this speaker I should say, to generate a lift tone. So if you have an older phone that has a speaker over in the other corner somewhere, simply plug this into the back. There's a jack right back here, a little headset type jack. Plug it in and stick this down next to the speaker so that uh, you get the remote lift signal. Okay. Now at this point, we're ready to make and take calls. Now, to be ready to use the set, simply fit it over your ear. I'm not usually fond of an over-the-ear piece because of my glasses and they interfere with it, but I do like to, to uh, wear it because I'm uh, rather fond of my US Open hat, which Elliot wouldn't let me wear because he says it shades my eyes too much for a video. But anyway, when you're talking to me on a day-to-day -day basis, this is the way I'm going to look. So now, when I'm ready to make or take a call, all I have to do is to make a call, press the button, it lifts the handset, I have dial tone in the ear, I can dial my number. I can talk, I can have my hands free, I can work on my computer, I can make my notes, I can do whatever I need to do. And when I'm ready to hang up the call, I simply press the button on the side again and it hangs up my telephone. Very, very simple operation. Okay. In a moment, we're going to pair this with our cell phone, and you can see how we can go back and forth between two different devices. Okay, for the final uh, step, step five, we're going to pair the 510S with my Curve 8300 BlackBerry, which is a Bluetooth-enabled phone. Now, with the power on, you should be seeing the blue light. Now, I'm going to point it towards me because I want to press the positive side of the volume control and the call control button at the same time until I get an alternating red and blue light. Now I see I've got an alternating red and blue light on the boom. It'll stay in that mode for two minutes allowing you to then go to your uh, your cell phone, click the add device, OK, let it search. It's found the device now. I'm waiting for it to recognize what the name of the device is. Okay, it's found a PLT 510. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pair with the PLT. As for the code, it's four zeros. And enter. Waiting for 510. I'm now paired. Okay. So now it's waiting for PLT, and I've got a successful connection to my uh, my headset. Okay, so remember what it was like working uh, before when I uh, had to lift a handset and I had to speak? Now when I'm working, the phone rings. Okay, it's very simple. I get a little warble tone in my ear as well as I can hear the ringing. I press the earpiece and I'm talking, hey Paul, how you doing? 
good. You sound good. I'm able to work. I'm keeping my hands free. I can talk. And when the call's done, I can reach over. I can touch the base, which I have far away from me right now for filming purposes. Or I can simply hit the hang up button on my headset. Now when I'm sitting here and talking, if my cell phone happens to, to work, and I happen to know that Paul is going to call me on my cell phone, because he's uh, being very helpful in uh, this filming, I can likewise answer that call as well. So I'm getting a call on my cell phone. I'm hearing the ringing in my uh, headset. Boom, I've answered. Hey, Paul, how are you? Okay, and you can see I'm connected to Paul Oliveri. I don't have to touch anything. I don't have to change anything in my headset. One headset, both functionalities, high-end productivity. And that's why I like so much, and I personally use the Plantronics Voyager 510S Bluetooth Dual Connect headset with the remote handset lifter, the HL10. Thank you and goodbye.